Shemuel Bet, also known as Second Samuel, chapter one. And it came to be after the death of Shaul, when Dawid had returned from striking the Almakites, that Dawid remained two days in Silag. And it came to be on the third day that see a man came out of the camp from Shaul with his garments torn and dust on his head. And it came to be when he came to Dawid that he fell to the ground and did obeisance. And Dawid said to him, From where do you come? And he said to him, I have escaped from the camp of Israel. And Dawid said to him, What was the matter? Please inform me. And he said, The people have fled from the battle, and also many of the people have fallen and are dead. And Shaul and Jehonathan his son are dead too. And Dawid said to the young man who informed him, How do you know that Shaul and Jehonathan his son are dead? And the young man who informed him said, By chance I was on Mount Geboa, and saw Shaul leaning on his spear. And see the chariots and horsemen followed hard after him. And when he looked behind him, he saw me and called to me. And I answered, Here I am. And he said to me, Who are you? So I answered him, I am an Almakite. And he said to me, Please stand over me and put me to death. For agony has seized me, but my life is still in me. So I stood beside him and put him to death. For I knew he would not live after he had fallen. And I took the diadem. That was on his head and the bracelet that was on his arm and have brought them here to my master and Dawid took hold of his garments and tore them and also all the men who were with him and they mourned and wept and fasted until evening for Shaul and for Jehonathan his son and for the people of Yah and for the house of Israel because they have fallen by the sword then Dawid asked the young man who informed him where are you from and he answered, I am the son of a sojourner in Almakite. And Dawid said to him, How was it you were not afraid to stretch out your hand to destroy the anointed of Yah? And Dawid called one of the young men and said, Draw near and fall on him. And he struck him so that he died. And Dawid said to him, Your blood is on your own head, for your own mouth has witnessed against you, saying, I myself have put to death the anointed of Yah. Then Dawid lamented with his lamentation over Shaul and over Jehonathan his son, and he ordered the bow to be taught to the children of Yehuda. See, it is written in the book of Yasher. The splendor of Israel is slain on your high places. How the mighty have fallen, declare it not in Gath. Proclaim it not in the streets of Ashkelon. Least the daughters of the Philistines rejoice. Least the daughters of the uncircumcised exult mountains of Geboa, no dew or rain be upon you, nor fields of offerings, for there the shield for the mighty lay rejected, the shield of Shaul not anointed with oil, from the blood of the slain, from the fat of the mighty, the bow of Jehonathan did not turn back, and the sword of Shaul did not return empty. Shaul and Jehonathan were beloved and pleasant in their lives. And in their death they were not parted. They were swifter than eagles. They were stronger than lions. Daughters of Israel, weep over Shaul, who wrapped you in scarlet with finery, who decked your robes with ornaments of gold. How the mighty have fallen in the midst of the battle. Jehonathan was slain in your high places. I am distressed for you, my brother Jehonathan. You have been very pleasant to me. Your love to me was wondrous surpassing the love of women, how the mighty have fallen in the weapons of battle perish.